To night we are having chicken livers on top of an old Pennsylvania Dutch recipe, which is called Krautflecken, that is, cabbage and pasta. Welcome to Tessa's Kitchen. First, we're going to make the kraut flecken. For the ingredients, you're going to need a half a pound to a pound of cooked pasta. Here I have some mini penne, but you can use whatever you wish. A pound to a pound and a half of chicken livers that have been rinsed and cleaned, cleaned of any excess veins. And here I have some small pieces from the cleaning that I'm not going to waste. About four cups of thinly sliced cabbage and one large onion that has been thinly sliced. I have some reserved pasta water, about a cup. And for the spices, you're going to need a half a teaspoon each of salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. In a skillet on medium to medium low heat, you want to melt one tablespoon of butter and about two tablespoons of olive oil. Add your onions, your cabbage, salt and pepper to taste, and stir. Turn your heat to low. I have an electric stove and I have it between 3 and 4. You want to cook this for a good 20 minutes, stirring every 3 to 5 minutes. By cooking it low and slow, you're going to caramelize the onions and the cabbage, bringing out the natural sugars. You will see the cabbage decrease in volume, and both the onions and the cabbage will become very tender. In the past, I have added a clove or two of minced garlic, which is also very good, but because the chicken livers are rich in themselves, I decided not to. While the kraut flecken is cooking, I'm going to season my chicken livers. And I'm just going to add all the seasonings and give it a good stir. You can get this recipe and more on my Facebook and Google Plus page. Remember to come and give me a visit. This is the consistency I'm looking for. I'm adding about a half a pound of my pasta. And I added about a half a cup of the reserved pasta water. giving it a good stir and adjusting the salt and pepper. Tastes good, and it's done. And now for the chicken livers.
In a skillet on medium to medium high heat, I'm adding enough oil to coat the bottom. I'm frying the chicken livers about three minutes on each side. This is organ meat, so you want to make sure that it is fully cooked. The chicken livers have a lot of fluid and pockets, so they will burst and spit when placed in the oil. So please be safe and use a pan screen to cover while cooking. Being organ meat, we don't eat chicken livers on a regular basis, but it is very inexpensive. For a pound and a quarter of chicken livers, it costs two dollars. You can't beat that. And now for the plating. I'm serving the chicken livers on top of the kraut flecken and garnishing with a little bit of parsley. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me here in Tess's Kitchen. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. Until next time, enjoy.